when the CBD gold rush is on, thousands of products now claiming to ease pain, reduce anxiety, and more, but they are products largely unregulated and have to meet no public standards. So tonight, the iTeam lab tests find out what's in this so-called miracle drug, and now the results are in. The ACT labs in downstate Morton, Illinois. It's where the iTeam had our CBD samples tested. Since 2015, the independently accredited and state certified lab has been testing cannabis in Illinois. While medical marijuana and hemp crops must meet state standards, CBD products are sold with no oversight. It is the Wild West right now, that's for sure. CBD is legal in Illinois, but largely unregulated. Jeff Cox is the bureau chief of medicinal plants at the Illinois Department of Agriculture. Right now, we lack regulations both on a federal and a state level for any standardized testing um, or, or any screening uh, for the final products for CBD products. Fans of CBD, also known as cannabidiol, insist it works as advertised, and various hemp and CBD associations say there are many high-quality products available. It's up to the buyer to find them. Scientists at ACT say what they've tested for other clients runs the gamut. I'd say like on average it's maybe one out of every 25 or something has a large amount of THC. To gauge that variability, the I-team picked up a variety of CBD items from liquid drops to gummy bears. We bought from online retailers, specialty shops, even gas stations. We settled on eight samples, covered and labeled them and provided technicians with the advertised concentrations. The lab tested for overall cannabinoids, including THC, the substance that can make you high, and the less controversial CBD. Legally, hemp-derived products should be 0.3% or less of THC, but even small amounts could cause a positive test for marijuana, costing some people their jobs. Richard Miller is a professor of pharmacology at Northwestern Medicine. I think it's almost impossible to completely um, you know, isolate CBD from, from plants and not bring any THC with you. Some of the contaminating THC that's with that CBD could start to accumulate in tissues. In all eight samples, the THC levels met the legal limit, but in two of the hemp extracts, technicians telling the I-team the overall amount of cannabinoids, including THC, was higher than stated on the label. You're actually getting twice as much CBD as you think you're getting you might actually run into the problem where then you're going to have twice as many metabolites in your system, and then that could still cause you to fail a drug test. These mints claiming 10 milligrams of CBD tested at almost double the amount. Three of the products, including a CBD tincture bought at the gas station, was nearly spot on with packaging labeling. The remaining two products had noticeably less than promised. This jar of gummy bears bought online baffled these scientists who said they couldn't detect anything even remotely associated with hemp. Advertised 1,000 milligrams of hemp oil in there, and we literally detected no cannabinoids at all, not even like traces of any. It really seems like this is just a, you know, snake oil. Illinois' top law enforcement official recently joined 35 attorneys general in urging CBD oversight from the Food and Drug Administration. We're charged with protecting people from the state from uh, deceptive ad uh, advertising and from products that put consumers at risk. And it needs to start with regulation from the FDA. The FDA is now weighing how to regulate CBD in the long term. Advocates encourage anyone taking hemp products to seek out third-party lab reports from reputable sellers to confirm the purity and presence of CBD. Otherwise, be you're beware not going to know those, what's in it. Beware those gummy bears. The gummy bears, <laughs> which have none whatsoever, apparently. That's right. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.